Oh, sorry. Hey, hey everyone. Ready teens and salutations. This is Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Room. Lady of Denial, whatever goes first. Anyways, I just. It's been at least an hour ago since I watched The Amazing Atheist and his new video. And don't get me wrong, I liked it. It was very well done. And he makes good points. Thanks about religion. Do I agree with all of them? No. Do I feel in any way, shape, or form that I should be forced to agree with them? No. That's one thing I like about the Amazing Atheist. He doesn't really force you to do anything. But, what he said about religion and living forever and stuff, got me thinking. You know, what is immortality? Well, reality, in my opinion. I guess I couldn't come up with a better word, and I apologize if I can't. Because I couldn't. But, it makes me think. If we're meant to live forever, or if we do live forever, should we? Does it mean anything that someone lives a long, illustrious lifestyle? I mean, why? Is it important for us to live forever? I mean, I'm a Christian, but, dude, I mean, I like the idea that, yeah, maybe the world could be heaven. I've always believed that, but... You have to live the world the way it is now. You know, you, you have to live the way God intended you to live, as it was. But I think, I was just thinking about earlier today, how the Egyptians had this idea of afterlife that was a shadowy, dark place. And I think if their attitude is a lot more mature. That it's like, yeah. At least they didn't try to tell you, oh, yeah, when you go to heaven, they'll be clouds and angels and stuff and this perception that was unrealistic anyways. However I like moving forward. I like progress. Progress is good. I have learned a lot from progress. It is a good thing to progress. However, am I ready to live forever? I don't know. I don't think I want to be forever and absolutely a child. I want to grow up. I want to change. I mean, the problem is, you know, everyone has, from different parts, different sides, feels like the world is too homogenized, too boring. You know, there's nothing going on. You know, there's nothing, or at least there's nothing out value I'm going on <laughs> then you get people who say there's too much going on oh my god yeah, and maybe this is the whole you know everyone looking at the yeah you know huh, is that weird God's hand, Adam's hand. We have to just touch you for him. Yeah, this is exactly where Adam would have his hand. I feel I'm just a bit better than God. So I'll, you know, have my hand just a little bit higher up and when I go to touch it. it means something, doesn't it? Have we exceeded God? Do we no longer need... Well, I guess... I've made videos about this, too. I... I've said, yeah, you know... Oh my god, I'm just kidding. I can't really remember what I used to say. Anyways... About... Oh... Uh, as have we? Have our, has our society really gone above and beyond expectations? Or are we still trying to get there? I mean, I'm kind of confused. I always feel like, 
Well, you know, we, we're always, they always tell us young people that we're the future and stuff. Well, I'm now looking at my grandma possibly living longer than I will. Which isn't a bad thing, mind you, but why does our generation have to be tossed aside? I want to live a nice long life. Or at least one of value, I guess. People tend to think, yeah, you know, people who live forever, they mean nothing. You know, they, people who live a very short life nowadays are saying, eh, you know what, who cares about that? I'm watching a video of Macy Atheist talking about that. And he brought up a good point. You know, Martin Luther King, he lived to is like 36. And yet he did so much of his life. I'm sure there have been other people who have done more, but we've taken this mentality that living forever means you're the best person on earth, and that's not exactly the case. Nice. You know, I understand trying to make a person who lives that long feel better about themselves, but that doesn't change my perspective of mortality. I don't want to outgrow my use of God. I mean, as I say, I want to, it's almost like, you know, I loved my childhood. It was simple and it was nice. I don't need the world to absolutely change like that. Hell, I hate half the crud that's on now. Oh, well, I mean, I know it's good to progress. I progressed, but haven't I progressed enough? I'm not saying, oh, I'm at my wit's end. Fuck it. I don't want to live anymore. No, I just feel like, well, so I'm only supposed to live till I'm a hundred, and then that's it. That's all my generation's going to be good for, because it's going to get to a point where I don't even think we're going to have old people. Or, I think, that I want people to die, I don't want old people to die, I want my them to live a nice, happy life. But, I also kind of wonder... What is the use of human beings after a certain point? When we get to that point where, basically, we won't have to work. We'll just frolic in the fields. We'll live happy, and ordinary lives. That would be nice. I mean, I want there to be a heaven. I, logically, I would like there to be a heaven. I like some place to go when I die where. It's just a sense of wonder, but I don't want someone else trying to tell me how to live my life or my perception. No one was trying to destroy that or build it up. Even though some people get really mad at the fact that you bring up that there's angels and, you know, clouds and heaven. And, and I've talked to people like that, but I'll say that for another video. It's, it's important to remember, but I'll say it for another video. <sighs> Because this person needs to be talked about. Just for her hatefulness, okay? Anyways, this is Evelina Malik, Lady of the Realm. I'm telling you to follow her on Twitter, Tumblr, you know. I'm not gonna bother with the plug, man. Anyways, peace.